hopefully we can make clear distinctions between people that are doing it wrong and people that are doing it right. John Pachaya Ferry says when it comes to the market for human remains, he and many others are doing it right. And he was disturbed to read about the black market dealings allegedly facilitated by the Harvard University morgue manager, Cedric Lodge, and his wife, Denise. Uh, I found out with um, this story just like everybody else, and I was appalled by it. His New York-based business, John's Bones, offers a wide range of human skeletal remains. Ferry says everything in his display room is from a retired medical piece, often 50 to 100 years old and purchased from medical schools, physicians, or their estates. We want to make sure that these pieces have the correct indicators that they are from a retired medical collection and not just anything that could be found from an ossuary or a public grave. Ferry says many of his customers are medical students, chiropractors, or even first responders who can use those bones for training and learning. They fall out of public circulation and we purchase them back and our goal is to get them back into the educational field. He says the case involving the Harvard morgue is disturbing, but a rare isolated incident in an industry he says has a strong commitment to ethics. He worries it will further stigmatize a field that's meant to improve scientific understanding of the human body. My heart's broken for the families um, affected by this, especially for individuals that were interested in donating their bodies to medical science. I'm extremely worried that this could scare them away um, due to this incident. And an important point that Ferry made, he says that human remains should never be used for decoration or for vanity, only for the purpose of education. The lodges are just two of seven people currently facing federal criminal charges as part of this investigation that spanned across five states. Ross Ketchke, WMUR News 9.